let me start in this way. I read the Bible. Maybe not as much these days, but I study the Bible from time to time. And there are similarities. Like, I begin to see some things that are common. Like certain rules, certain principles, like certain things are common. Something came to my mind and I kind of took note of it. And this is what the message is going to be about. You want healing, but you don't want Jesus. Like how strange is that? Like, doesn't it make no sense? You want healing that ultimately comes from Jesus Christ, but you don't want Jesus Christ in your life. How absurd is that? Have you thought maybe, I guess it is a possibility, maybe you are going through what you are going through because of your defiance, because you are choosing to not go by the rules of the Bible. Have you thought about that? Can it be what you are going through is a generational curse because of someone down the line did something wrong against God? Can it be? So you want the miracle, you want the healing, but you don't want Jesus like... <laughs> Aren't you going through what you are going through because of sin? So if you don't have really the change of mind, if you don't really want Jesus in your life, won't whatever that came upon you or is on you, won't it come back to you when you choose to not serve Jesus Christ. I think in many cases, it is a good thing you are not healed. Maybe you are beginning to think about Jesus Christ because you are sick. If you were healed, if all your needs were taken care of, maybe you would not even acknowledge God at all. You want the healing, but you don't want Jesus Christ. That is strange. You want the benefits, but you don't want, <laughs> but you don't want the change of life. Apparently, you don't want to carry your cross. You don't want to die daily. Pretty much changing your life and going by God's rules. So you don't want that. So you rather, as it seems, waste someone's time to pray for you, ask God for your healing, so that you can go right back into sin and bother some more people. How 
weird is that? I believe this to be true. I think nothing ever comes by chance. Hello? I am telling you, I truly believe nothing ever happens by chance. I think everything that happens is happening for a reason. I believe we can make life easier or <laughs> more difficult. I think if you are going to live for Jesus Christ, I believe there are going to be challenges. So if life is going to have its challenges, why add to it? Why go through things you may not have to go through? Why dabble in things that will bring you more trouble? Like, why even do it? Rebelling? Rebelling. Why rebel? I believe rebelling will make things worse. Why get punished more than what you have to? Why go through unnecessary things, perhaps? Why? Because you want to be defiant? You want to live free? Listen now, we are God's creations, aren't we? Yes. If someone made something, don't they have ownership of it? I believe they should, right? So if I made something, I have full rights of it. So I can say, I want this thing to do this. I want this thing to do that. Why? Because I created whatever that thing is. So how strange would it be for my creation to say that they can do whatever they want against my wishes? Won't I destroy that thing? How can my creation tell me what they can do and they aren't going to acknowledge me or listen to me? I am going to perhaps destroy it, wouldn't you? If you made something and it is doing opposite of what you want it to do, won't you try to repair it? Maybe take more and more time to repair it. And if it doesn't work, what are you going to do? Perhaps get rid of it. So how can we blame God? How? God is so mean for putting people in hell and stuff like that. But isn't he giving you time to change? Isn't he being patient with you? Isn't he? So think of it in that way. God made you. You have to go by what he says not by what you feel, not by what you think. If you believe what is happening now is not fair by having to go by God's rules, okay, recreate yourself. Make yourself anew. Make yourself in your own image. Hmm? Can you do that? I think not. Let me stop here. God bless you.